My presentation is entitled Usability Evaluation of Higher Education Institution Library Portals in Zambia. My name is Dr. Ethel Matembo, supervised by Dr. Lighton Pili and co supervisor Professor Akakandela Akakandela. That is my order of the presentation. I'll quickly go into the background. So, Zambia has seen an increase in the number of higher educational institutions, with 53 being private and 11 being public, according under the Higher Education Authority. This is according to the National Assembly of Zambia 2013. So the HES stipulates that for these HEIs should provide facilities and platforms for e-learning. This has seen these university libraries provide electronic resources and e-learning facilities through library portals. In line with the growing number of academic universities implementing these library portals, there is a growing interest amongst researchers, researchers to investigate the effectiveness of these portals and identify the usability issues. Usability in this context is the extent to which a product can be used by users to achieve specific goals with effectiveness, efficiency, and satisfaction in a specified context of use. What distinguishes a library portal from any ordinary portal gateway is that it augments the user interface with federated searching, pattern authentication, and link resolution. Therefore, the study sought to investigate if these principles that distinguish library portals from ordinary ones have been implemented into the implementation process of these university library portals. Statement of the problem. In the survey of literature, it was found that no specific research had been conducted relating to library portal usability evaluation in Zambia. Given this backdrop, the purpose of the study was to assess the usability of implemented university library portals and to fill this knowledge gap. With the increase in the number of HEIs that provide these services via library portals, the relative usability and comprehensiveness of these library portals was not known. This was achieved by investigating the relative usability of adopted library portals that are in these universities. Objectives of the study. The main objective of the study was to evaluate the usability of university library portals in Zambia and specific objectives. Firstly, to comprehensively investigate the extent to which universities in Zambia have adopted library portals, to investigate key library portal features or characteristics that have been integrated into existing university library portals in Zambia, and lastly, to determine users' perceived usability of library portals in universities in Zambia. The research questions were in mirror of the specific objectives, significance of the study. This study was aimed at providing answers to the effectiveness of the information design of Zambia University academic library portals as information communication channels, and if there was need to change and improve the current portals. It can also be used as a guideline in the creation of a policy that can help librarians as they set up their university library portals. Also, the HEA may use it as an as the usability, as may use the usability evaluation results as a way of assessing HEIs or sexual framework. The study adopted a conceptual framework by Ramanyaka and others of 2017. This framework was used as a library website usability evaluation tool to assess the strengths and weaknesses of the website usability level. The results of the study produced six components that can be used as a website evaluation tool, which were efficiency, effectiveness, sustainability, satisfaction, usefulness, and accessibility. These six components were in line with the system usability scale that was used in the study, this in my study. The SAS is a 10-item 10 question, 10 questionnaire, which is a quick and easy tool that can be used by anyone. Literature review. The following which literature was reviewed, uh, was reviewed and um, it's a summary of the many literature that was reviewed. So I'll just pick on one. Brahma and Brema of 2018 in their findings assess the usability of academic library portals and found that the design of library websites helped to consider how people approach the information program, information problem rather. And the gap in this case focused on a few recommendations to increase the portal's usability by overcoming the lacunas in the design and development of library portals. Methodology. The study used a mixed method approach and was divided according to the objectives. For objective one, a census was carried out by distributing an online questionnaire to all librarians in higher education institutions in Zambia. This list of these institutions was, got, was retrieved from the Higher Education Authority. After, the, after this, a preliminary heuristic evaluation of the URLs received was carried out using a checklist comprising the characteristics of the library portals. Objective 2. A heuristic evaluation was employed to determine 
library portal features integrated in library portals corresponding to the ATIs. 20 participants were selected from... That's five minutes remaining. 20 participants were selected from the research level of the master's program in information science at the University of Zambia, and the participants were required to, um, to evaluate four university library portals, which were Stellenbosch, Mulungushi, Onza, and Zika's University. A Likert scale, like scale was used for the evaluation, and a checklist also, also was included. The Stellenbosch University Library was selected as a gold, stand, gold standard library portal to be used as a basis for ratings. That is just um, a screenshot of the Stellenbosch University Library portal, methodology objective three. Convenience sampling was used to achieve this objective. The results obtained from the data collected in objective one gave an accurate number of universities, which was three, and this was divided into 384 to give an equal number of questionnaires that would be sampled at each institution. The quantitative data was collected using online questionnaires that were generated using a SAS questionnaire, and the standardized way of analyzing the SAS was used. Limitations. The implementation of the data procedure was in certain instances a challenge on the researchers' part, as some library portals only gave full access to fully paid up students and members of staff. Secondly, the experts recruited to participate in the expert heuristic evaluation did not all give feedback as required of them. And thirdly, many participants did not extensively make use of the library portal and were not aware of how to go about responding to the questionnaires. Discussion of results. Objective one. From the 68 contacts obtained from the HEA, only 28 contacts were reachable. From the 28, two indicated that they did not have portals. And, for, and after the preliminary evaluation, it was found that only three universities in Zambia have library portals, which were Mulungushi, Unza, and Zika's. Objective two, from the findings, despite the three universities having functional library portals, there were challenges related to how the information is accessed by the patrons for these library portals. Objective three, the table gives a summary of the average SAS scores obtained from each university that has a library portal. And they were all ranked okay according to the adjective scale, accessibility scale, marginal and net promoter scale detractor. This graph gives an explanation of the SAS score interpretation. Um, discussion of results continued. Impact of demographic factors on SAS scores. Gender. The gender of the participants did not have any significant influence on the SAS scores at all three universities. A two-tailed two independent t-test was ex executed at Unza and Zikas, while at Mulungushi a man test was used. Program in road. At Onza and Mulungushi, there was a significant difference between the undergraduate and two school. minutes remaining. While at Zikas, there was no significant influence. This thing. The discipline did not have any significant influence on the SAS scores at all three universities. Year of study. There was no significant difference in the year of study on the SAS scores at all three universities. Conclusion. From the study conducted, it is evident to a larger extent that many universities have not adopted library portals. Secondly, the study established several issues focusing on the six characteristics of portals. And thirdly, the SAS score skills for the three, three universities fell under OK and turned as marginal on the acceptability scale. Recommendations for objective one. The HEA to include portal evaluation in the quality assurance criteria. HEIs without portals to implement portals and set up portals. Objective two, HEIs to explore the use of specialized free and open source library portal software. HEIs with portals with missing crucial services to implement services. And thirdly, HEIs with portals to extensively evaluate how to incorporate the missing features. Third objective, the three HEIs to extensively improve the design and content of their portals. These were the references. And just to mention that the, my, the work was published at the fourth African Human Computer Interaction Conference in November 2023. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the presentation, Madam Dokoy.